Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and today we're going to see how to mint your own web pages as NFTs. And this is a very interesting topic because you can interact with your website inside an NFT and that's a pretty cool thing to do, right? And that opens up a lot of opportunities. We are going to achieve this by uploading our HTML file to IPFS and then including it in our metadata so that OpenSea can render it. And you can do a lot of different things like creating mini games so that your users can interact with them and javascript is pretty limited in these things but you can access some javascript objects and functions but you cannot use something like alerts so that's a limitation there but you can see it's basically an iframe so you can check what are the limitations and make it accordingly so yeah let's get into the demo and let's see what we are going to make so this is what we are going to make this is a web page as you can see we can select text and we can even press this button and hello would appear this we we had achieved using javascript so this is what we are going to make in this tutorial and mind this this is an nft on OpenSea or on testnet OpenSea. so yeah you can basically mint anything uh, any web page using this method so yeah let's get it started so in our terminal first we are going to create a new folder so we are going to say mkdir web nft yt and now we are going to go into the folder so cd web nft yt and here we are going to do npx hard hat and we are going to initialize a hard hat project so that we can deploy our smart contract and run scripts without going to the th tough process of creating a web app and installing all the packages and doing everything so we can just do it here so that you can automatically implement this into your web packages automatically so yeah let's go into create a basic sample project let's press tab and let's enter to select the same path we are in the folder and let's add a get ignore let's install all the package now this might take a lot of time because we are using npm and not yarn so yeah i will pause the video and i'll be back when this is complete okay so the installation is complete but before we move on to the coding part we need to do a couple of things so first of all we need to register on any IPFS platform so that your files are pinned and it don't get lost after some time. So that, so yeah, you can use any service like Pinata Cloud or Web3. Storage. In this episode, we are going to use Web3. Storage because it's easy to use, and this video is not sponsored by them. So yeah, let's. You can just go and log in your account, and then you can just go to Account tab, and then go to API Tokens, and then create your own token here. I already have a token so let's wait for it to load we are going to copy this token because we are going to need this again now let's get back to our terminal and now open visual studio code here it should be open now let's get this to full screen and let's see what we have here in contracts folder we have greeter.sol file a solidity file so we can just rename it to web nft and here we will go and change a few things first of all we need an nft contract and instead of writing an entire contract we can easily generate the code so we can just go to the browser and say open zeppelin contract wizard and we covered open zeppelin contract wizard in a previous video if if you haven't seen the video i would recommend go ahead and watch it so yeah this is the contract wizard Now let's select ERC721 because that's the NFT standard and now select the NFT to be mintable or to increment NFTs and URI storage. That's all we need for this episode. If you want any more of these features, feel free to select them as well. Now let's go ahead and copy these, uh, th these lines of codes and go back to our code editor and just paste this here. Perfect. Now all we need to do is install this package. So let's go to our terminal and install a few packages. So npm install. The first package we need is of course open zeppelin. So open zeppelin slash contracts. And the second package we need is web3.storage. Now this might vary on whatever platform you are using for IPFS. But since in this video we are going to use web3.storage, we are going to install their package. Now let's hit enter. I hope I didn't spell this wrong. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now let's wait for this to complete. Should not take a lot of time. And till then, let's just edit some things. First of all, this should not be my token. We will call this web NFT. And we will 
call this web nft and this we will call at call as wnft you can name it anything you want to i'm just kidding around here and i'm typing whatever comes into my mind so yeah <laughs> now that this is complete all of errors are gone now we can actually deploy this script before that we, we are going to need our private key for a wallet from which we are going to deploy it and we are going to deploy it on polygon mumbai for testing so we are going to need all of that data and we are also going to need an html page so let's go and do all of that so first of all let's go to hardhat.config.js and here we are going to add a new um, new object called networks and here we are going to have mumbai and we are going to have a few things here first of all we need the url and now to get the rpc url we have i have that rpc url with me you can use any alchemy rpc or any provider if you're using quick node or infura or whatever you can just use any of that we are just going to use the public rpc and then we are going to need the private key so we are going to use accounts and this is an array and we are going to need just one private key so let's go back here let's go to the correct browser where all my youtube accounts are stored so yeah so we are going to choose account 2 and in account 2 we are just going to go to account details export private key then we are going to enter our password and then this is our private key now make sure you, you don't share this private key with anyone because this is this account is just for youtube and this is for testing purposes i am sharing this but in no way you should share your production private keys with anyone like anyone so yeah let's copy this and let's go back here and let's paste this and i would even recommend pasting this in an environment variable and uh, just to make things simpler we are not going to do that so yeah uh, we don't need to touch anything else in this file now let's go ahead and create a new folder here called assets and in this we are going to create a new file called index.html now this is the file which is going to be minted you can have your own personalized html file but this is basically the file we are going to mint so a basic rundown this is just a sample text then this is a button which is going to display this text so by default the opacity is zero but if you press this button the opacity will be set to one so that the text is visible so yeah uh, that's all we need now let's prepare a script to deploy this uh, contract and um, I've mint our first NFT. So let's go to the scripts folder and let's rename this to deploy.js. So here we are going to just remove all the comments because I hate a lot of green colors in my code. So let's just remove all of this. Now we need to do some changes here. So let's just name it web NFT and we are going to get web nft contract and let's rena rename oh yeah it lagged for a bit web nft and we don't have any parameters here to give so we are just going to leave this empty then we are going to wait for uh, web nft to get deployed and then we are going to say web nft deployed to web nft dot address so yeah this is the basic thing we are going to do now what we need to do then is upload our html page to ipfs so that we can then generate the metadata so let's do that right now so we are going to say const html is equal to await fs so we need to import fs here so let's do const fs is equal to require fs and we will also need path so let's import path now so const path is equal to require path and now let's go ahead and say await fs dot read file sync and here we are going to have a path so we are going to say path dot join and we are going to say that starting from this directory go back one directory then go into the assets folder and then choose index.html so this is how this works and if you want you can just pass in absolute uh, paths but this is a better better way in my opinion you can use whatever you want to now let's go ahead and initialize our web 
uh, our web to storage so we're going to say const storage is equal to new web3 storage and we are going to auto import this and now we are going to need the token so let's see uh, we need to go back to that page and let's copy this token right here let's go back and let's paste the token here perfect and now we are going to interact with the storage so we are going to say const cid so content id or whatever the full form is i'm not exactly sure not gonna lie so we are going to say await storage dot put and here we are going to have an array of files so the first the only file we need here is new file and we are going to auto import file and then we are going to say the contents are html so the contents of that file and then we are going to name the file as index.html perfect so if you had multiple files you can just add on to this array and it should work and then we are just going to get the url so we are going to say const url is equal to https and this is a gateway url for web3 storage so we are just going to enter the cid and it should uh, get us the gateway url for the exact thing we uploaded so we're going to say dollar braces cid dot ipfs dot w3s dot link now remember that if you entered some other name other than index dot html you might need to just slash and enter the name of the file dot html but since this is index dot html we don't need to do that now let's go ahead and make the metadata so i'll just uh okay hold on let's go ahead and do this const metadata and we're going to have an object with a name of test web nft on yt just to make things different and then we're going to have a description of this is our test description and then we're going to have an animation url so it's not an animation we're just going to have the file here the ipfs url of the file here so animation url means anything from music till html documents anything you can put here so yeah now now we are going to convert this metadata into a blob so that we can upload that this metadata as well on ipfs so we're going to do const blob is equal to new blob and we're going to auto import this from web3.storage and we're going to have json dot stringify and this should have metadata and then we want th this to be formatted as application json perfect now blob is ready now we can just do the same thing as we did before and we can just do const metadata cid is equal to await storage dot put and we are going to have a new array new file and something is wrong now then we are going to have a blob here and then we are going to name it as metadata.json perfect now we are just going to interact with the contract and mint the nft so we are going to say const transaction is equal to await web nft dot functions something seems to be wrong here oh yeah here this needs to be web nft and now this should work so functions dot safe mint now where is the safe mint coming from if you look this we have a function called safe mint and this is only accessible by the owner so yeah keep that in mind so now we are going to the first parameter is the address so the address you need to mint all the tokens to so the first parameter is the address and in this we are just going to get the address here let's copy this address let's paste this here and the second we need is the ipfs uri so we are, we are just going to do the same thing we are going to have https and we are going to have metadata cid dot ipfs dot w3s dot link and since this is not an index file we're going to say metadata dot json 
and yeah this should work so let's go ahead and run this on polygon mumbai so let's get into a terminal and now we are going to say npx hard hat run and then we are going to say in scripts we need to run deploy dot js and the network we need to run this on is mumbai so yeah now let's see if this happens moment of truth now this will take some time it depends if the network is busy or it's pretty free if you want you can even set up your own node but then you can you cannot see your nfts on OpenSea. that's the main problem so that's why we are using polygon mumbai here so yeah let's wait for the nft to get minted so the web uh, web nft deployed to this contract address so the contract is now deployed now the script is working on uploading the files and metadata and minting the nft so yeah let's wait for this to complete this should not take a lot of time so okay so it ended actually so it didn't console log anything because we didn't have anything so we can even have a wait txn dot wait so that it waits for this to complete and then we can have console dot log nft minted however it should not change anything so if we can if we go back and if we connect if we just disconnect our account one and connect this wallet instead we need to accept and sign let's reload and see if there is any other nft other than this which we made in another tutorial yeah so there is one in created so this is a test web nft on yt now this takes some time to load because it just uploaded to ipfs and now it needs to fetch all the data and what whatever it does on the background side so it takes somewhere between one to two minutes but this should be here pretty soon so let's wait for this it should not take a lot of time if you have multiple files it may take some time and things might get broken in the first two minutes but other than that this should work completely fine so there is something error it says that the i mean something is definitely wrong it just has the url of this and it's not supposed to happen let's see what's wrong okay so the problem here is that this is not real path sync this should be read file sync i didn't read that i just relied on intellisense and intellisense betrayed me so yeah let's save this file now we need to run this again this will take some time i'll just skip to the part where this is done okay so this is done and this time we do see an nft minted notification here so let's go back to open c let's go back to a profile let's go to create it now it should take some time to load up here so let's refresh this page okay so we have created two and let's check out the latest one let's check this out now this should oh okay hold on maybe i tapped on some wrong one let's check this one out oh yeah perfect now this is a test web page as an nft and let's click this button and let's see if it works moment of truth so yeah oh yes it does work and yeah and this is how we can just put html files into an nft and we can do a lot of cool things with it so yeah that is how you can mint web pages as nfts and this opens up a lot of opportunities for you you can make mini games you can do a lot of cool stuff with this and this this can make your nft a lot more interactive than just a photo so yeah uh, i hope that this video was helpful to you we are really close to 1000 subscribers and i cannot wait to reach that milestone honestly so if this video provided value to you i would recommend you to click subscribe because we come up with this content regularly so yeah uh, if you love the video also hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next one bye